Welcome to the Island of Lunar Wood. This is an antique fantasy themed island with a lot of ruins, farms, with nods to dark academia, fantasy of course, and tons of magical mythical vibes. It also has sunken waterfalls, gorgeous pathways, tiny little marketplaces, even a haunted cemetery and adventurous caves. This is a stunning, stunning island by Jill. As per usual, the dream address, all of the island information, including Jill's social media credits, are all going to be in the description box. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy this island tour. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. All right, I'll see you guys at the airport. Here we are in the most appropriate outfit for a antique fantasy themed island. <laughs> Again, this is by Jill and all credits will be in the description box so that way you can go and give Jill some love. Let's go ahead and take a look at this antique fantasy themed island map. Whoa, I actually love the terraforming. It's incredibly simple, but even just navigating from resident services to the airport, it is going to be full of so much detail in terms of items, so I can't wait to see it. Also, look at this sweet little villager lineup. We have Ruby, Kiki, Bones, who I love. I've never had Bones on my island before, but I think that's past due. I need to get them. Then we have Lucky, Fauna, Blair, Ozzy, Eric, Molly, and Sweet Marshall. And here's the dream address on the screen if you'd like to pause the video, grab your Switch tour along with me. But again, you can always do that at your own time as everything is going to be in the description box. Okay, here we are. Look at this flag. So pretty. And of course I have to point out the stunning fog on this island. It's so nice. This entrance is just so pretty too. And since we're currently in summertime and in the in real time right now, it's August. So this is actually such a treat to see the fog and everything, which typically happens in late October. Wow, I love the sword up here too, placed in the way it is. And if I'm not mistaken, it blocks off. It does, it completely blocks off going that way. That is just beautiful. Wow, yeah, nothing quite like this fog. It's just so dense and so pretty and perfectly fitting for anything that is a little bit more spooky, that has that darker academia kind of aesthetic to it. Wow, and here is one of the many cemeteries. Oh my goodness, I have to touch the bones. Oh. <laughs> Such a funny detail that Nintendo included. Wow, and it extends on the beach. Okay, this is actually beautiful too. I love, and wait, I'm just now realizing we have Bones on this island. I wonder if he is in charge of running one of the cemeteries. Come on, it's too funny, right? Who lives here? Is this my guy? Oh, it's Ozzy's house, so close. <laughs> So spooky, I love it. Even have a view back here. I recently created a cemetery on my own island, but it is not nearly as extravagant as this one. This is so pretty. I really like the different colorways and the headstones. And you know what? The lily of the valley, it does not look out of place at all. All. It's a flower I would never anticipate putting on a darker themed island, and yet it looks perfect. Just love that. Okay, where to go? Well, here is resident services. So this is where you will wake up. If you decide to dream of this gorgeous island, I absolutely suggest that you should. And let's go to the right. Oh my gosh, what's over here? Whoa, wait, what? Oh my gosh. Um, it's it's like an actual castle. Wow, this is so well made. Oh my goodness. We've seen since the 2.0 update so many creative uses with these castle walls. 
But might I just say, I don't know if I've seen too many islands where actual structures like this have been created. Like very, very few. But this looks amazing. The way that everything is just enclosed so perfectly. And hello guards, I know you were guarding this uh, for a reason, I'm sure, but I'm gonna go through. <laughs> Whoa, how cool in the post office back this way. This is so neat and such a different take and unique take on so many of the post offices that we see in game. Look at this, look at this locker. They actually look like little P.O. boxes. This item looks so great too. Quite an impressive combination to achieve the way this looks. And might I say, these um pillars right here, I absolutely, oh, they disappeared. I absolutely love them and I feel like, oh, wait, no, I don't want to dress in Farmer Katie. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought. I didn't realize you could actually use the wands to change your outfit and dreamy dresses. Okay, you learn something new every day, moving on. Lost my train of thought about my love for those pillars, but suffice it to say, I do love them. Oh, and look at this library. Can we just talk about how nicely everything connects with one another? Wow. This really does feel magical in so many ways. That is so crazy how it all connects from that main room to the post office and now to this library. It feels like this whole island really is an interior and not a deserted island whatsoever. And we're back outside. That was so cool. So, so neat. And you guys might be noticing, of course, the beaches are blocked off, so we're not gonna be exploring those unless they do have some decorations on them. Wow, that was really unique and neat. Also, I must say, I love the way that this custom pathing is combined together. It really looks so good. As if the wagon is leaving tracks right here. I mean, come on. This whole aesthetic has been nailed 10 out of 10. So good. Then what's over here? Is this, oh. The, okay, the museum must be over this way, right? This looks like a little research center for blathers. That's so cute. This is a great path as well with the stones around it. Really pretty. Oh, here it is. Wow, I almost did not recognize it because of the castle walls. So good, so, so good. I love these archways as well. Do you remember when we only had the stone archway and then we had the fall bounty archway? Oh man, so much. We have grown so much since then. <laughs> oh, and up here we have a little farm. That is so sweet. And just goes to show how you can use so many elements of playing Animal Crossing like the farming, you know, having a little place to store gyroids, all of that without compromising any kind of aesthetic, if you will. So you can still have your farms and still have a really, really cool island aesthetic like this one. Whoa, look at this insect path. There's so much lore to this island too. You can just tell. Well, can you imagine actually seeing a dragonfly that big in, in person, alive? That would be intense. I mean, I am an animal lover and it takes a lot for me to get creeped out, but that might do it. It might do it. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous this path is underneath the gazebo right here. Is that not beautiful? That is so pretty to me. Ooh, is someone home? Also, the villager homes are decorated. So let's see if anyone's here. Oh, yes. Someone is inside. Who is it? Anna. Hi, 
angel. <laughs> wow, what a gorgeous home you have. Oh, this is so well done. And I really love that her bed is just kind of tucked away right there between those curtains. Oh, Fauna, your home is so pretty. I love this idea. What a unique concept, putting the bed right there in between the wall partitions and then just having, you know, a little curtain, curtain for privacy. She has everything, a kitchen, she has her little living space over here on the left and some privacy for her bedroom. Fauna, you beautiful, sweet dear, I love your home. That is so well done. Okay, and now let's go, let's go with that incline that I saw over here. Oh wait, what's this way? Oh, just a little space to do laundry. That's really sweet. I love these little corner details. A great example on filling some smaller spaces and still having a lot of intent behind it, you know? Really little laundry spaces right there. Wait, what is over here? Whoa. Whoa. Look at this, it's like a little bookshop. Face to right, oh my gosh, wait, a friend. Jill, <laughs> Lumos. Look at how cute her outfit is too. Oh, I love that. Okay, before we go down that incline, I am gonna I'm gonna put a pin in that. I wanna explore up this way. And might I just say the combination of the wheat fields and the glowing moss is so impressive. <gasps> Wait, whoa, this is so cool. How we have the knights guarding the cave. Oh, what a fun little detail that is. Also this item, just love how it lights up. And you can place things on top of it, I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering that correctly. Wow. Let's go over here. Oh, how pretty. You know what I didn't even notice? How these lampposts have a custom design hanging from them instead of banners, so it looks like ivy is growing from them. Hi, Eric. And Molly, two cuties, right in a row. Your house is over this way. Oh, I could see the inside of them, but y'all are walking around, so I can't see them. Also, uh, I did ask in a previous video if you can choose which villagers are inside whenever you upload your dream address. And apparently, whose house is this? Is this Eric? Molly, and then this must be Eric's over here. But apparently, it is completely random. It's completely random. So sweet. Okay, let's go onward. Let's go back to that downward incline. And I, I guess as well, uh, if you revisit, oh, Kaylee's online. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> if you revisit a, uh, a dream address, sometimes you will be able to see different villagers that are inside than when you first visited. I don't know for sure if that's true. I haven't tested it, but I believe, I believe that is the case, which is really neat. All right. So oh, where to go now? Let's go back down that that incline. Oh, it was this way. Hello, Katie. We're just here. I think this pattern in particular is very, very pretty, by the way. This wants me to, wants me, this makes me want to go like apple picking or, you know, pick up some Halloween decorations. And I love, I mean, who doesn't love Halloween? But I'm not the die-hard Halloween person that, uh, you know, a lot of people can be, but this makes me want to be that kind of person. <laughs> it is one of my favorite holidays, though. I mean, who does not like Halloween? And we're back at the front. Well, okay, I'm going to go this way because I think, yeah, so that's how I get around that sword from the beginning. So cool. Oh, look at how gorgeous this view is. I know we were just over there, uh, the back left corner, but how pretty does it look in the fog like that? That is so stunning. Yeah, like this, what? It's beautiful. Oh, 
we have another villager home. Who is it? With a farm, complete with a little farm. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess Marshall. Let's see. No, I was wrong, I, I have to say. The matching shirt to their face is hilarious. This is a gorgeous home too. I like how all of these villager houses really, really match the theme and yet they're also different too. wear a shirt with my face on it. That's hilarious. Go queen. What's your name? Dottie? Right? Am I getting that right? Let me talk to you. Ruby. Ruby. Ruby the rabbit. Hi Ruby for letting me see your house. So pretty. Ruby the rabbit. And of course Ruby has a garden. Of course she has carrots. Love that for her. Or is Ruby a boy? Ugh, oh, Ruby is Ruby. That's what matters. I love the sprinkled treasure maps everywhere. I think that's so cool. And again, just kind of nods to that lore. Oh my god! Nook's Cranny, hello. <laughs> this is so cool. I love, love all of the castle walls, castle gates. Good. So here's our little shopping district. Also, how cool is this bridge? Okay, come on. This is brilliant. We have Nook's Cranny on the right, and then I see a little sliver of April Sisters over here. But if you want a unique shopping district idea, uh, look no further. This is this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. And again, with these pillars, I just think they're a very underused item. I think the ruined pillars I see quite quite a lot of, but just these solid wooden ones, or I think there are some marble colorways as well. I just think they add so much. I think you can put things on top of them too, actually. Amazing, amazing shopping district. Wow. I like how this island is fully functional in terms of, you know, visiting the shops, visiting the museum. And it looks like this, like that's crazy. You right? So pretty. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, this is the ruined pillar I was talking about right here. Like these I see relatively frequently. Wow, look at this wheat field. So <laughs> spooky and pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm, I cannot wait to run through this field in first person mode. I'm sure it'll be in the intro of this video. We'll see if I put it in there or not. <laughs> Let me know too in the comments if you guys have been enjoying how I do kind of the first person view and trailer, I guess, if you will, at the very beginning. I've been enjoying it. I've been trying to post uh, those snippets on TikTok too. Bones, my boy. Well, not my boy yet, I don't have you, but wow, look at your house. It is very abandoned, my friend. What are you cooking up in here? I do like that Bones has a little tent though. And a treasure map, so you're doing some good hunting, right? Gosh, this floor is so pretty. Look at all those little sparkles when you run around. All right, Bones, I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna leave you to your spurlunking in that cave back there, maybe some treasure hunting. It looks like you're doing big things, buddy. I'm proud of you. <laughs> but seriously though, I loved the interior of that house. Is anyone in here? Whose house is this? Lucky. I bet Lucky has a really cool inside of his house too. See, that's, you gotta come visit. Maybe you will get lucky in his house. Um, or maybe not. Can I go back this way? Through the field? This is so pretty. Wow, spooky too, especially with the candles back this way. I mean, it looks so good with all of this fog and having it be, I think early morning. 
or relatively early morning, but I bet at nighttime, ooh, I bet it's so cool. Who lives here? Oh, they're inside. Hmm, who else is gonna be in this, this island? I know Marshall was one. It be. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil, Marshall. What a, this is such a well-fit home for Marshall too, just with the instruments, the books. Totally fits his snooty, his giant bed. <laughs> totally fits his snooty personality. Marshall, you're crushing it. Look at you. Absolutely crushing it. I love those stripes on all of the furniture too, on the bed comforter and on the chair right here and the sofa. Such a good look, especially for any kind of like vintage vibes you want to go for with your furniture. Man, I love that we can see and change the interiors of our villager houses now. That's so cool. Oh, he's sitting on a mushroom. Another one, who is gonna be in here? Someone's gonna be home. Aha, I knew it. Who is it? Who is this? Is this Blair? I know you're behind this little thing. Blair, hello? Yes. <laughs> Blair. Oh, I love this layout. Oh, we have this little fireplace right in the middle of the entire room but at the foot of the bed. Everyone has their treasure maps. What are we hunting? Is it a person or is it treasure? And I really hope it's treasure. Or it could be a monster. Uh-oh. Could be Blair, are we hunting a monster? What's happening? Are there, is it the big dragonflies? Because I did see some. Gorgeous home. Gorgeous home. I love the hallway wallpaper. I believe that's what it's called. And, I usually use it in in black because it looks super, super dark brown, but it's technically called black in game. Hi, Kiki. Hi, birthday 20, how are you? Um, but I love that wallpaper. And how smart is this? Having your main home on the peninsula, are you kidding? That is amazing. That is something you don't see every day. The main house, the main resident house. Never, but so cool. And let me go ahead and go inside. I believe all of the rooms are decorated except the basement, I'm pretty sure. So of course we have to take a look at Jill's home. It's gonna be immaculate. I have zero doubts. Yep, yep, I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Oh, and look at the gyroids up there. <gasps> Such a cozy way to display them. This looks so good. And look at the little chess table back here on the, now it's in the middle-ish of the screen, but it's sparkling. Yeah, this looks so good. And if you follow Jill on Instagram, you will know this is like so spot on, their aesthetic, like so good and accurate. I love it. I totally forgot about this mirror as well. I really forgot about that. Okay, well, this room over here is blocked off. Is this back room, though? It's not. Okay. Check out the back room, then. Oh, look at this. Her sewing. Man. So, I do know how to sew. <laughs> but it's been so long since I've actually made anything. And I don't own a sewing machine at all, but this really makes me want to create something. I don't even know where to start though. I have no idea. What's like a good, all right, sewing experts. If I wanted to get back into it and I got myself a very basic sewing machine, something I could make that's relatively easy and not too simple. Like I don't wanna, you know, I don't want it to be too easy but also not overwhelming. Doesn't have to be clothes, could be anything. I've always been tempted to make my own window treatments. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm not even talking about Animal Crossing anymore. Okay, to the right.
Oh, the bedroom. Okay, favorite rug alert. Oh, actually, favorite rug and wallpaper alert. The green blossoms, is that what it's called? Wallpaper? And this rug, it's like some of my favorite things to combine. It was in my last bedroom for sure. It might be in my current bedroom. I haven't decided what I'm doing there. But let me also point out the gorgeous mismatch of all of this wooden furniture. Like we have some light wood, we have some of the cherry wood, we have some darker wood. And it all looks so nice together. That's something I'm terrible with. But it is doable. I mean, clearly you can make a lot of the wood furniture match with one another in a cohesive way. And it doesn't have to be the exact same stain, if you will. Wow, so good. Okay, so we're not gonna go in the basement. Let's check out the upstairs. Oh no, I messed up. I was told the first floor was not done. And in my mind, I, I think I was, I was thinking the basement and not the upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh. I mean, I should have known that it was gonna be the basement that was done, especially on this island. Look at how perfect this is. Whoa, so creepy. Oh no, the view's about to be obstructed. <gasps> or is it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, it's just so eerie and spooky. This is one of those islands where I would almost anticipate one of the Mario pipes to like take you to somewhere just ridiculous. <laughs> I wish you could change the way the Mario pipes looked though, right? I mean, they're so functional in so many ways, but of course it would look really goofy on, you know, on certain islands, unless you hide them the right way. What a gorgeous home though. So pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, I think, Oh no, the fog is burning off. Oh, hi, Lucky. And Kiki. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to push you, but I have to push you. Uh, there was an incline up here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another little marketplace. Love the bird. I'll take the bird, please. Let me know how much I owe you. Oh, I have a very sad story about owning a bird. Um, that's a story for another day. It's pretty bad. Go this way. I love how seamless, like the marketplace just transition to the home areas. Oh, hi Molly again. Which goes to like these pathways. And I will say, if you visit this island, stick to stick to the path. It seems like the perfect way to explore without getting lost because there's so much happening here. And these paths have been incredibly helpful. Oh. Oh my gosh, the campsite, of course. I totally forgot we even had a campsite to see. <gasps> Ooh, we'll view it from up here because this is actually amazing. There might be a way, yes, yeah, there is a vine right next to me. You can see on the left-hand side of where my character is sitting, there is a vine that looks like it'll take you down there. And I love, 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 love the way that this whole campsite has been put right next to the secret beach. I remember when I first saw someone do that and I was like, that's brilliant, brilliant. And I'll never stop thinking it. Never, ever. So pretty. And if we go, I think this is gonna take us back to the museum. Here's the house. Whose house is this? Did we go in here? Did we go in here? Whose house is this? Kiki, we did not go in Kiki's house. Oh, yep, and now we're back to the museum. This is insane. This whole island has been insane. I mean, do you all even remember the beginning of this tour when we were in these interiors on the right-hand side? I mean, this, like, come on, this is wild. It's madness. It actually is mad. So pretty. I I don't know exactly where to end this tour because it's so well done. So I'm just going to have to do it here. Please, please do me a favor. 
and go give Jill some love. Not only is Jill just so creative and has just such an amazing presence online, but just a sweetheart as well. So make sure to go and tell her that you love her island, that I love her as well. Tell her I say hello. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I have quite a plethora of islands lined up, but of course, if you would like to submit yours, if you have a friend that wants to submit their island as well, then A, make sure to uh, tell them in the description box or comment section, but also in the description box, there is a form to submit. So you can submit your island, a description of it, a few pictures, and that's how I usually choose islands. It just makes my life a little bit easier to get everything scheduled. So make sure to do that. I would love to see what you guys create in this game. With all of that said, I hope y'all are having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old beautiful world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.